Hello everybody and welcome back to the 3344 Gaming Club. Today I'm going to show you how to make these little explosion, little flames. It looks kind of like a little smoke cloud coming off of them. I use them in my games of Warhammer 40k um, to represent a, a machine that's been exploded. Uh, but there's other uses. But uh, that's what I'm going to run you through real quick here. As you can see, pretty cool. You can get a couple different effects. Uh, this is what it looks like with the lights off. Pretty cool. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's some polyfill. It's uh, just kind of like toy stuff. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. And see, I got a ginormous bag. I can't remember exactly how much. It's maybe six bucks, if that. I don't even think it was that. Uh, as you can see, enough to do tons of these. Uh, I got some super glue. This is Gorilla Glue. I use it on a lot of models. Uh, you could also probably use like the white glue. Uh, I haven't tried it with that. I've tried it with t double sided tape, but I prefer super glue. Uh, and then we got flameless tea lights. Uh, super cheap. I think they're about two, three bucks. Walmart. And you get six of them. And, of course, just a little uh, spray paint. And uh, that's all you need. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so you get your tea lamp first. That's what it looks like. Get a little super glue. This one's brand new. I haven't opened it yet. Hopefully it comes out good. And you just kind of smear it around on the top here. And I'm going to kind of mess it around so it's everywhere. I'll probably get super glue all over my hands. Trying to show you guys this. And then all around the edges here. Like so, I'm just going to smear it now. So not not a whole lot of glue. Alright, I think I got that good. Next thing, grab me a handful of your stuffing. And then you can, you can kind of make the fires look a little different. You can kind of mess with this a little bit. Fluff it out in the places. I'm going to make it kind of a big plume. I'm just going to stick it straight down on it. <clears throat> just kind of fix it. At first, it'll, it'll tend to come off a little bit. But when it dries, it'll stay in there really good. All right. See, I don't like that. All right. Now, final step. Pretty quick. Give that shake. Sorry if it's loud. It's been outside, so it's a little cold. Hopefully it'll come out good. And then you can look at videos, I mean, to see how like a real flat fire would look where the black is. I'm just gonna give it a couple hits. You can barely hit it, and it'll be a little grayer. Add it a little thicker in places. There's what it, what it looks like. And now you have a fire. Now I will say with these, I had these at Halloween, and they, they're they an orange light. This is just kind of a normal yellow light. So... A little bit of a different effect, uh, but it's all preference. I think I turned that one off. Anyway, so uh, there it is, everybody. Uh, pretty quick little tutorial. Hopefully that's helpful and can add a little flavor to your next uh, 40K game or tabletop game. Uh, as you can see, um, these I had at Christmas for Jack-O-Lantern. Not Christmas, Halloween. Uh, and these I just bought today, the yellow. So you can see uh, these orange lights, a little different effect. Uh, I think I'll prefer the orange, but it's all preference. And hopefully everybody enjoyed this video and uh, a quick and relatively cheap way to add a little flavor. So, uh, as always, thanks for tuning in to the 3344 Gaming Club's channel. Uh, please like and subscribe.